Every nonprofit leader struggles at one time or another with ways to utilize their board members in fundraising. If you're struggling with this issue, today's video will help. Sit back and watch a handful of ways you can use your board members to make your event a success. Stay tuned. As someone who has both served as a board member and worked alongside board members, I've seen some effective and not so effective board members. Some have tried and many have failed. One individual who really set the tone for me was a man named Mark Joseph. Hey, Mark set the standard for what a good board member could do. While serving with Mark, he was one of those board members who was always available to lead or to follow, depending on the situation. He eventually became board chair of a nonprofit social services organization in the Northern Virginia area that I worked with closely and we served together for nearly a decade. There were countless times that Mark led the board through difficult strategic planning sessions, weathering the storms of those opposing the organization's mission, but also navigating the organization in lean times and eventually prosperous times. By trade, Mark is a CPA, business graduate from a prestigious school and owner of a financial management firm. He's a true entrepreneur and developer, which made him the perfect board member. He knew the importance of building a relationship and finding capital so vital to growing an organization from scratch. He always asked the important questions, but never did so in a critical or accusatory manner. He would simply ask for an explanation of a decision in a non-threatening way. Though a CPA and extremely bright, Mark is not the stereotypical numbers nerd. He is lean and athletic and outgoing. For years, he served as MC for the organization's annual fundraising dinner. Mark's corny sense of humor as MC was legendary. He would start out by saying, I'll bet you were excited to know your MC tonight is a CPA. Then he'd ask a series of questions to solicit interaction with the audience. Please raise your hand if you were an A student. Now raise your hand if you were a D student. Now raise your hand if you lied about either of those. Mark would warm up a crowd like few others. He was notorious for texting me a half hour before the event to tell me something like, my plane's caught on a tarmac at LAX and I can't make the dinner, all while standing in the back of the room laughing while I read the text. But Mark was also the first to step up to make a lead gift for the capital campaigns and matching gift efforts. And Mark was the first to help the executive director move from one home to another in the area, but also be a listening ear when that was needed more than advice. We all wish we had a board member like Mark Joseph. The proper utilization of board members in fundraising is very important. An effective board member is one that steps up to lead and when it's needed, or volunteer to stuff invitations if that's needed more. Understanding the role of the board member in a nonprofit is always the subject of conversation amongst nonprofit leaders, but utilizing a board member in fundraising seems to dominate most of the conversations. There are many ways to utilize a board member, but today I'm going to give you some ways that you can use board members for fundraising, just as Mark was a valuable part of events and fundraising activities the organization mentioned above. Number one, serve as a key leader. With any event, there are several key roles that require strong and sound leadership. Overall dinner coordinator, table host coordinator, reservations coordinator, volunteer coordinator are all important leadership roles. Finding key leaders to serve in those roles can and should start with board members. They understand the mission and vision of the organization and they should be able to represent the interests of the organization well and they know how important an effective event is to the success of the organization and they'll take that leadership role seriously. Number two, serve as a table host. A game changer for most fundraising events, especially dinners, is the recruitment and implementation of the table host strategy. Table hosts are the lifeblood of any successful fundraising dinner. For a dinner to not just be replicated each year, but multiply, there needs to be a steady influx of new hosts each year, thus tapping into new pockets of potential donors. Board members can and should be counted on to recruit at least five to 10 hosts each year who agree to fill a table of 10 and also fill one to two tables with qualified donors themselves. They should be willing to encourage and motivate the hosts they recruit as well as other hosts who are recruiting guests to attend. Number three, they can serve as a volunteer. 
Any great board member should not only be a good leader, but they should also be a good follower, called a servant leader. They should not shy away from the most menial tasks, such as folding, stuffing, and sealing invitations. They should be willing to jump in the mix and help any task. Volunteer roles during an event can include greeters, ushers, registration workers, and gift counters. Board members should be willing to step in and serve, whether asked to do so or not. It's important that they roll up their sleeves if boxes need to be moved or programs need to be placed on chairs, but they also should be willing to see someone who needs help and lend a hand. No job should be beneath them, and there should never be an air of superiority. Number four, serve as a program participant. Just as Mark Joseph served as MC for the annual dinner mentioned earlier, board members can open and close in prayer, share the guiding principles and goals of the organization, share their story of giving and how important it is for others to give, and they can actually do the appeal for funding. A nonprofit board member is often viewed as a key leader or at least a key representative of the organization. When they're platformed or seen on stage, it shows the member's confidence in the organization and participation from a board member builds confidence in a donor and shows the seriousness of the board to perform their duties and responsibilities. Sometimes when the appeal is done by a board member, they can communicate the importance of the need or opportunity better than anyone else, except for the executive director, and it allows them to see that raising money isn't as easy as it looks. It also communicates to the executive director that the board is in the game with him or her and shows a wall of support for staff and leadership. Number five, serve as a motivator. Participation by the board in all elements of the event shows to others the significance the board places on that event, so much so that they give their time. But it also allows the board member to lead by example. By doing all the roles and tasks and responsibilities, it allows the member to lead out in their giving. Just as Mark Joseph led out in giving to capital campaigns and matching gifts efforts at the dinners, board members can give pace-setting gifts, motivating others to give, but they can also share their story of giving that may motivate others to give and give sacrificially. Board members can thank others for their gifts. Board members should be on the phone right alongside organizational leadership calling to thank donors the day after the event. The board members can motivate and challenge others to participate with their life. That's their labor, their influence, their finances, and their expertise. These four areas or roles of the board during events serve as a model for not only organizational leadership staff and volunteers, but also current and potential donors. Sometimes it's hard to put into words what, or, what board involvement means to an organization. When others see them leading and serving, they'll want to do the same. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, hit the like button and add a comment below if you have used your board members in significant ways in fundraising or if your board has stepped up to model in fundraising. Hey, I could use your help with something. As a fun exercise to let me know that you got this far in the video, type the word ROLE, R-O-L-E, in the comments section. If you're interested in joining me in making a positive impact on our world and even on eternity, please hit the subscribe button and click the all bell to be notified when the next video is released. If you want to find out what to do and say during a presentation, watch this video and raise more money than ever. I wish you the best as you strive to increase your income and reach the goal of becoming fully funded. Thanks a lot. We'll see you in the next video.